What's going on today guys? In this video, I just wanted to briefly and quickly talk about a white balance, specifically when you're editing your landscape photos. I think white balance is often underlooked as far as creativity goes, and I feel like white balance is one of those really powerful adjustments that people tend to look over and underestimate the power of it. White balance is actually really strong because it's going to be a global adjustment that's going to affect all the color ranges within your image. This is why it can be such a powerful creative tool. There's people out there that swear that when you're doing photography you need to have your whites exactly white and you should always be shooting in auto white balance or auto white balance priority and, and honestly I don't think the technicalities of that matters so much over your own creative choice. I think the power with white balance is actually just having a creative choice in portraying the mood or feeling of whatever it is you're trying to show within that image. So I wanted to go over a couple images here that I took in the same exact area at the exact same time shot with the exact same settings. I was actually taking a panorama shot so this is just kind of three frames in the same series exact same time and you can see this first image was actually just shot with auto white balance and it was right near sunset you can see that the sky is nice and blue which is reflected in the water beneath here so it's a very kind of blue color cast which I like because the image is very calm and tranquil and you just have this beautiful calm lake scene so I thought that really worked I thought that was fine in the field. The most important thing to note is that when you're shooting in raw format, you can actually change your white balance in post-production to anything you want. If you're shooting in JPEG, unfortunately the image is gonna kinda be stuck with that white balance. So a tip that I could give you is just always shoot in raw, and that'll give you the ability to change your white balance whenever you want in post-production. So you can see here this first image that I took. This is just the raw image, auto white balance. It kinda has blue. But then this next image here is actually after I was done processing the image, they're, they're two separate frames, they're actually side by each. I just panned to the right a little bit here. But this was the final image that I processed. And you can see it's a very purple, um, kind of pre-dawn looking tone, which I really liked in the end because I wanted to give this really uh, pre-dawn feeling, kind of this magical feeling almost. And so that's kind of what I was previously talking about before. You have the ability to have your own creative choice when it comes to white balance. You can push it to whatever color you want to portray whatever you want. Um, but this next frame here, which again, I just moved to the right, you can see that the feel of it, the tone of it is just completely different because I pushed the white balance more to the warmer side or the warmer tones. And so if you just preview these three images, which again were shot in the same location, same time, same camera settings, I just simply moved and took three different frames. You can see that they're drastically different because the white balance in them is different. This one's blue, which is kind of calm, tranquil look. This final image, which I really liked, um, kind of has those purple tones. I was really going for that pre-dawn light and I really like that those purple red hues and then this one here which was pushed more to the warmer tones completely gives a different feel. So white balance can be a very powerful creative choice. I mean it's really ultimately up to you what you want to portray and how you want to portray it in your images. And when you're shooting things like clouds or reflected water, white balance is, is really going to change how the image looks because there's a lot of reflective um, white surfaces there. So when you shift your white balance when you're post-producing, I mean it's, it's really going to change, really going to change the look of uh, your images. So. Just be mindful of how you shift those colors. If you want to give an image a more cooler, calm, tranquil look, then just slide your temperature more to the left and give the image more of a, a, a blue tone and it'll give it more of a calm feeling, which is kind of what I was doing in, in this image here. 
and it suits this this scene well because it is just i was beside this beautiful calm lake this was shot at skiff lake first thing in the morning so it was this very peaceful calm atmosphere but if you want more of a warmer more inviting image then you can just push your tones more to the right or warm them up you can see the histogram up here slowly getting more and more warmer tones and that will completely give a different feel to the image and your viewers will, will feel a completely different way even though it's the same scene shot at the same setting same location same time um, the white balance really is going to affect it so that was just a, a quick thing i wanted to bring up in today's video just be mindful of your white balance, especially when you're doing post-production, because it's really going to change the overall tone and feel to the scene and to the image. Don't listen to those people that tell you that you have to shoot images where your whites are perfectly white and you can't change the white balance after that. It's more of a, a creative expression or a creative feel however you want your images to look or feel. Just a quick video today about uh, white balance and post-production, and I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, just be mindful next time when you're processing your images, um, how you shift your white balance, because it's really gonna change the tone and overall feel of your images. So thanks again, guys, for tuning into this quick little video on post-production, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.